Hi everyone, welcome to Chess 24/7, and you are encountering another online chess video. And this time, I will be showing you one of my favorite chess games, and it's between Magnus Carlsen and Vladimir Kramnik. And on the black side, we have Vladimir Kramnik, and on the white side, we have Carlsen. And I'll show you uh, how beautiful this game is. But before diving into the game, I would like to let you know that this game was played in the year 2009, 25th March and this is a blindfold tournament so there can be some inaccuracies by the grandmasters also because it's really hard to make good moves when you're not looking at the board you have to imagine the whole situation and the variations also so it gets a bit complex and with that said let's dive into it so we with white pieces we have Carlson opening up with d4 Kramlin going for knight f6 c4 e6 signaling the uh, Nimzo Indian variation with knight c3, bishop b4, queen c2, black castles, e4. And now, if you look at the situation, uh, white has a pretty good center, but his pieces are not developed. His king is still in the center, only a c3 knight is developed, which is in a pin by this b4 uh, bishop. So, moving on, d6, and now we have bishop d3 developing the bishop knight c6 developing another piece and now adding some kind of a uh, pressure on this e4 uh, d4 pawn and knight e2 protecting the pawn bishop a5 and here this bishop a5 move is played so that it can reroute to uh, bishop b6 adding more pressure to this pawn here so that's an idea and white castles bishop b6 is played once again d3 knight b4 hitting the queen queen d2 e takes d5 c takes d5 knight g4 bishop goes back b1 queen h4 and from this move onwards black will be putting a lot of pressure on the white side he'll be just dominating the game and with queen h4 we can see that there is a lot of pressure on this uh, h2 pawn and on this f7 pawn also with this bishop being uh, in the corner of the board still influencing this uh, king side or white side so queen f4 protecting both the pawns f5 e takes f5 bishop takes h5 and here in the game h3 was played so after bishop takes f5 why not bishop takes f5 because that's really good we are winning a piece here right but that's not true because rook takes f5 and if queen moves or takes the rook then queen takes h2 that will be made so after h3 bishop takes f2 check in the game king h1 was played but let's look what after bishop takes f2 if rook takes f2 then we will be having queen takes f2 queen takes f2 knight takes f2 king takes f2 bishop takes b1 with check and now if you look at the situation the black king is in the center of the board and the black side has one extra rook and it will be pretty easy for the black side to win the game so after bishop takes f2 king h1 bishop d7 hitting the queen queen g5 bishop c5 and here it's really nice to see that why did not black uh, white side capture the queen on uh, sorry what uh, in the game it was played rook takes f8 but now it's pretty interesting to see that after bishop c5 why was queen takes h4 not played because rook takes f1 the only move is knight g1 and rook takes g1 that will be made so after rook takes f8 uh, rook takes f8 knight g1 rook f1 threatening mate bishop takes h7 going for some action on the black king side king h8 and here black resigned Magnus Carlsen resigned at this stage and why because the problem is that he has to develop his bishop in order to meet the threat on g1 so bishop e3 let's say queen takes g5 bishop takes g5 rook takes a1 bishop b1 these are all such some some moves which computer suggested so let's see knight g2 e2 knight g e2 
knight takes c3 knight takes c3 bishop d4 h takes d4 bishop takes c3 b takes c3 and rook b rook takes b1 and now it's quite easy to see that uh, the white side is going to suffer a lot uh, black has two pieces in this situation and if we look at the pawns black has four pawns white also has four pawns but if you look at these two pawns they are double up pawns and lone double up pawns which are much uh, disastrous so anyways uh, after king h8 here black resigned so i think it's a pretty interesting game although it was a blindfold tournament so uh, you cannot really judge a player's ability when he's not looking at the board but I think it's pretty interesting game to see where we uh, saw a lot of tactics that were really interesting I mean uh, black literally gave up his queen uh, but I think it's pretty interesting game to see uh, how we can give away our queen but still remain in the game so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video till then take care Tara, goodbye, good day.